So guys, it's finally happening. After all this time, it's finally happening. Cyberpunk 2077 gets its first set of DLC, which is coming very soon indeed. Today we talk about the three things you'll get 100% free. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so Cyberpunk had one of the worst releases in game in history. Let's not be around the bush here. Unlike me though, most people couldn't see how good the game was or is capable of being underneath all the bugs and glitches, which is fair enough. If you pay for a game, you expect it to work. No arguments from me. Okay, so here we are almost one year later, and it seems as though the game right now is in a decent enough state for CDPR to finally start adding the promised small DLC add-ons into the game. Okay, so the patch 1.3 is upon us, with CDPR stating it's releasing very soon indeed. No exact date has been added, but by the time you watch this, you may even have it. This 1.3 patch is absolutely massive, with its patch notes being linked below if you do want to read through all, but you'll see them quickly on screen now if you do want to pause it and read through them. It's the biggest ever day state, with many many fixes with it. But it also comes with free DLCs for the game. Now I will add, these DLCs are not expansions on the game, those come later. These are just three small gifts from CDPR to you guys, the first of many, which is pretty cool. So everyone expecting new missions, new armors, weapons, etc, etc, you'll have to wait for them. They will be a part of expansions. These, like I said, are just free gifts for you as a player. So the first in the long line of free DLCs sees you being able to get two brand new jackets, a brand new car, which I love the look of, and also an alternative costume for Johnny Silverhand. So the jackets you can see on the screen now. These you will be gifted as far as I am aware from Victor, not long after you start the game, so you will be able to obtain these very early on. To grab them you need to head to your apartment and your stash. I think Victor may send you a message first, which you may have to read and respond to. Doesn't matter how you respond, you will always get these jackets. Now for the car, it more or less works the same. And this car you retrieve from the Badlands. So once you head into this area, you will be notified of a new quest called Quartz Bandit. The quest will reward you this awesome looking car, which you can see in action now. And the final piece of free DLC is an alternative costume for Johnny Silverhand. And to apply this it is pretty simple. Remember all these DLCs do come with a 1.3 patch, so unless you have the patch yet, if you haven't downloaded it yet, you won't have any of these. So from the main menu, you will actually see a new tab called Additional Content. Within this new tab, you can see all that new content you have for your game. Now to apply this alt costume to Johnny, you need to head into Settings, then to the new tab of uh, Additional Content, and then select Johnny's alt costume. Then once you load up, Johnny will be in that alt costume which you'll see on screen now. Now CDPR have confirmed that this is just the beginning in regards to DLCs for the game. Some DLCs will be small like this, some much much bigger, but all will be free and we'll see them quite consistently. The game's expansions will be paid for and are also in the works people. But yeah, there we have it, the very first DLC for Cyberpunk 2077 comes with a massive patch, the 1.3 patch for the game, which fixes many many things and adds many quality of life updates including a better map for when you're driving, and much much more. But on that note guys, we have arrived at the end of the video, if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more be sure to subscribe, and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button, but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.